Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another vlog. It is once again time for me to vlog whatever random stuff I am doing this week. I have a lot to get done today so I figured I could bring you along with me. I gotta post a video today so I have to finish that video today. It's almost done so I should be fine. Then I have to record a Squishmallow video. It's the last video in the fake Amazon Squishmallow video series so I have all of the packages ready they're like right there whatever so i gotta do that and then i want to see if i'm gonna have time to go out today because i do have a pickup order from walgreens that i need to grab and i want to go check target because i've been really obsessed with these bum bums plushies i don't know if you've seen them or heard of them my little couch one is right there you can see the the lamp that i have as well they're super cute and apparently target has like mini versions of them so i really want to go see if i can try to find them but yeah we kind of have a lot to get done so i will just check in with you periodically i'm gonna work on some editing for a little bit and then hopefully we can venture out later. Okay, so I just finished editing. It is 3.40 p.m. now. I had kind of a late start today, but that is exporting. And now I'm gonna work on the thumbnail. Don't come for me for my dirty screen. I know it's messy. <laughs> okay, here's what I ended up with. And with that, we still got quite a ways to go on the render for the video. So I guess let's go get dressed and get ready to record the next video. Okay, just kidding. Um, I was gonna film a video, but my computer's still gonna take a while exporting that video. And while my computer's exporting videos, the fans are super loud, so it's not gonna be good for me to record right now. So let's just run out and do our errands really quick and then I'll just record when I come back. Hopefully I'll have enough time. I'm just gonna grab keys and everything and we're gonna go to, I think I mentioned it, but we're going to Walgreens and Target. So yeah, let's get going. Of course, I'm gonna go inside and check if they have some squishmallows, um, but we'll also pick up my pickup order as well and then just skedaddle on to Target. Not me finally freaking finding some of the Pokemon Squishmallows in a random Walgreens. He was $15, $16, something like that. So I got him and I got two more capsules to open in my next um, like Squishmallow hunting video. I have one other one of those capsules and then I have like three on the way that my friend picked up for me from like a different series. But for my pickup order, I figured I'd give you a little bit of a haul. I just ran out of body wash and they had a good deal on these. So I got these, although they had to substitute for a different scent. I don't know how I feel about pomegranate and hibiscus, but I got some Lysol wipes because I had a coupon that made those totally free. And I had a coupon for this Kit Kat that made it like just a couple, like 10 cents or something. I actually only paid $3, like $3 of my money for all of that. And then I also got back $4 in like the Walgreens rewards for buying the body wash. So it was a good like couponing deal. I like to do those from time to time to save my money on these expensive things because those body washes are like seven dollars so i can save money for the squishmallows the things that matter anyways let's head on over to target hopefully we will have some success there as well i'm feeling the lucky vibes today so let's go see if we can find those bum bums and i don't know what else i'm getting there but i haven't been to target in a while so let's just go i am so tempted to get these because i love the shrimp and there's an octopus <sighs> but they're like so expensive like i don't want to pay 20 dollars for this i think i'm gonna leave it for now but be on the lookout i'm so sad i found them but they're wiped i think i am gonna get the little lava lamp i've been eyeing the bigger version so at least i found him but they just have the peace sign and the toast let's see what are the other ones on the squad oh i wanted those pancakes and the the little milk yeah i'm so sad okay i must have stumbled on a fresh restock what the heck? There's hug me's? <laughs> I don't really like these to be honest. There's a- oh, sorry. Let's go back. <laughs> There's a bunny. And I don't know what that is. Oh my god, someone just left one here. Poor baby. I'm rescuing him. I am back in the car, as you can see, a little bit sweaty. So basically they had like a deal if you spend $40 on like beauty and personal care you get a $10 gift card and there was a bunch of like TikToks that I saw saying how to like stack the coupons to make it even better so I did that right and I got a whole bunch of stuff I got like shave cream toothpaste <laughs> shampoo this freaking dove body polish that literally smells so good like 
this is a little pricey i think it's like seven bucks seven something but the macadamia and rice milk of it i literally want to eat it it smells so good so it was like 23 dollars that i spent and then i got back a 10 dollar gift card so i would say that's pretty good for all of this stuff like these dove things are really expensive and so is the shampoo the shampoo is also like six dollars so i feel like it was pretty good i use all of this stuff or i will use all of this stuff so i felt like it was a good deal i couldn't say no to this freaking chicken basket like are you kidding me? This is $5 at Target. Go get yourself a chicken basket. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with that. And then they had these adorable little mushroom bad boys. And these were $3 each. These are just gonna go outside somewhere. I don't know where. And then I got the two bum bums. They are so cute. I love them. But also another thing about bum bums, if you didn't know, they come with stickers. Like that's a stick on the inside that you can take out and like use. I think it's so freaking cute. Yeah, pretty good deals all around today. Got some good stuff, got some fun things, got some stuff that I needed anyway. So I am pretty hungry and I am dying of heat right now. So I'm gonna head home and record the other video that I need to record today. And then we're gonna work on dinner. I don't know what I'm gonna make yet. I bought like a big pack of like chicken breast the other day and I just have not gotten into it. Um, I did groceries and then we ate out for dinner two days in a row. <laughs> so that was great. So yeah, I should probably cook something with that chicken. Oh, I wanted to do like chicken and pepper skewers. I've made them a couple times. They're really good, but I forgot to buy or no, they were out of peppers when I did my grocery pickup and I ate almost all the pineapple last night. <laughs> Since I'm super hungry, I'm just going to do a super easy dinner. I'm going to do some chicken breasts in the air fryer and then i'm gonna do some of these like one step potato things i know they're so lazy it's literally just potatoes and seasoning i think you just microwave them um they're like cajun style and then i accidentally bought two bags of carrots for my groceries this week so i'm gonna throw some carrots uh, probably in the air fryer as well i don't know but yeah that's pretty much what we're doing you know what's so dumb the bag of carrots comes with a bread tag. Why does the bag of carrots come with a bread tag? I don't understand. Another one for the collection. This is how it's looking, by the way. Here's all my bread tags. <laughs> Honestly, it's not as much as I thought. I've been saving them for, I mean, over six months. Excuse me. Ma'am. Ma'am, do you mind? She's messing up that box right now. <laughs> Just finished recording my video, hey. Now I think I'm gonna take a little break and go play some video games with my boyfriend. And yeah, that'll probably be it for me today because I think after that, I'm just going to be editing or recording another Animal Crossing video. Depends on how long we play video games for. I think I'm gonna pick up the vlog tomorrow or the next day, whenever I have the most time. So thank you for hanging out with me today. I will see you tomorrow or the next day. It is the next day and just checking in super quick, saying hi with Pepper. I just got done streaming. I was streaming on a Thursday instead of a Monday because Monday I needed some extra time. Oh, okay, rude. Anyways, I just finished streaming and I have like 30 minutes before I have like this workshop thing that I'm going to, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I just wanna say hi and show you the cat. <laughs> ah, that was so sweet, Pepper. Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to say hi. My hair is looking a little greasy. I was supposed to wash it yesterday, but I didn't. I really want to go thrifting. Ugh, I feel like I haven't had any time to go thrifting lately. I'm definitely going to make an effort to go in this video, in this vlog. So it probably can't be today, but it's going to be... <laughs> it's going to be at some point before this gets posted. So... <laughs> Can I... Okay... You bite me and then you lick me. What is that all about? Can I have some beans? Mmm. Yummy. I'm just gonna pick this, boop, put it into soup. Aw, okay, she did want pets. Poor Peach is so deprived. Oh. Pepper, do you see this? <laughs> do you want pets? You always like some good pets. You, you never bite me. Lick, 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 lick. Oh my god. <laughs> she did not like that. She does not like my hand being above her. 
Really? Really? She's like, cut the cameras. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Now you're gonna lick me. You're gonna pretend that you were being so, so nice to mommy. So nice. Okay, anyways. I just wanted to say hi, check in, and give you some cat content since they were being kind of cute. So, yeah. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day if I'll record anything, but I'll just see you when I see you. Just got finished with my little, like, workshop thing that I was doing, and now I'm gonna cook dinner. I'm making crunch wraps again, and I swear I make these all the time in so many vlogs. Like, I feel like almost every vlog I'm making crunch wraps for dinner, but I swear, like, we literally eat them, like, once a week, so it's just a meal that's always in our rotation anyways. But later today, I just need to do more editing, and I also need to wash my hair today, so yeah it is the next day once again and today i'm committed we're gonna go thrifting i made time i stayed up till 3 a.m last night finishing my video that i had to finish that way today could be totally open and free although i still do have to pretty much clean my entire place today I'll worry about that later. Right now, I want to head to Walmart and I want to go to the thrift store. I want to go to Walmart because I just saw on TikTok last night that there's these Hello Kitty slash Sanrio pajama pants and I need them. Like, if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with wearing pajama pants. That's like pretty much all I wear. And of course, I want to look for Squishmallows. There's been a couple new squads that I haven't seen yet at my Walmart, so I want to go check. And of course, I want to go thrifting like I've been mentioning earlier. So I already ate lunch. I just did a little bit of makeup, mostly just eyes. I kind of wanted to give my skin a break. I've been wearing a lot of foundation and stuff like that, so we're kind of going pretty minimal, pretty bare today. So anyways, let's head on over and I will see you at- I think Walmart is our first stop. We're in the sleep pants section. Um, I don't see Hello Kitty, but I found- oh wait, no, these are not the ones I wanted. <laughs> wait, I was trying to get the strawberries. Why were these in there? These are the ones I wanted. Cute! This one is so cute. I have been contemplating getting this one. But I don't have room for it. So cute. I'm gonna have to put it back. Okay, they have this big guy. Some squish do beavers. Some more of the fuzz ones. Even a Monica. But look at this. Look at this. Little caterpillar rutabaga, which I love. Snail, mushroom, frog, and potentially butterfly. I'm getting this. I'm getting this. I don't care. I'm glad I didn't get the one from yesterday. They also have a lot of bum bums. The same squad that I've been seeing though, but I am gonna pick up the gumball machine. Tell me why all of that was $42 for the Squishville pajama pants, the plushie, and I got a freaking monster. What the heck? Is Walmart freaking expensive now? Is this what it's come to? <laughs> they didn't have my favorite monster flavor, which I'm sad about, so I got this new one. Ultra Fiesta Mango. I don't know, people say it's so bad for you, but I kind of need to pick me up today. I really try not to drink caffeine unless I like really need it. So now I'm gonna head on over to the thrift store. I think I'm just gonna go to one today because um, I don't want to take up too much time. I still do have to clean when I get back home. So we'll head on over, see if we can find anything. And also Walmart did not have the Hello Kitty pajama pants, which I was very sad about. They were fully stuffed in like other pajama pants, but no Hello Kitty. This is the most packed I've ever seen in this thrift store. I literally could not find a spot, which has never happened to me before. So that makes me kind of excited. Maybe they're having like a good sale or something. I don't know. Let's get in there. So yeah, they did have a sale. Um, everything was a dollar. Literally all the clothes were one dollar. So I just randomly stumbled into that amazing sale. So I was super excited. They had a bunch of bins outside on tables and you could just like rummage through them. So I was just like rummaging out there for a while. Um, I didn't get too much out here. I think I only found that blue sweater that's on my shoulder, but I did have to go inside after a little bit because it was hot and I was sweaty. The bins are no joke. <laughs> they require a lot of effort and it was really hard for me to film. Like I didn't really have anywhere to prop up my camera camera, stuff like that, but I did go inside and I found some frog plushies and webkins, so that was cool to see. And honestly, I did not film too much in here, like, th the store was so packed, so like, there was barely an opportunity to film, and honestly, I was really focused on just trying to go through all the racks and find stuff, but I will show you some stuff that I ended up not picking up, kind of like rejects. I'll mention her later in the video too, but my favorite thrifting content creator, Twinelle, she has a rejects of the day 
segment in her videos where she shows you like pieces that she didn't end up picking up at the thrift and I just love that so I thought I would also show you what I ended up not picking up. That was quite literally probably my most insane thrift haul ever and you'll see the pieces in a minute that I got and like it's not a lot but I think I just found like the most perfect pieces and everything was a dollar. This store was so packed. I'm sorry I couldn't film that much. I'm so glad that I pushed myself last night, finished my video, and made it out here because, oh my god, this was so worth it. My phone's almost dead. Also, why I didn't film that much, but we're gonna go home. I'm gonna charge my phone, clean up a little bit while my phone is charging, and then I'm gonna give you the thrift haul and the try-on because... Uh, beautiful. I want to do like the mwah, but I don't want to touch my hands because I don't have hand sanitizer and I was all up in those clothes. Anyway, I'm rambling so much. I'm so excited. I'm gonna get home. I'll see you later. So I'm back home. I let my phone charge a little bit, kind of chilled out, did the dishes, and now I want to do a little bit of a try on haul for you. Everything that I got today and also some other stuff that I've thrifted. Um, if you're not interested in this stuff, then feel free to skip to the next part or whatever. First, I'm going to show you a couple things that I've been randomly accumulating. Um, this was not from our thrift haul today. This is from like random other times. Like I think I went thrifting one other time and then some stuff I bought online. So yeah, let's get into that first. First, I got this adorable little sweater, pink heart sweater off of Whatnot. I got this for like $5 plus ship. So that was pretty good. It's cropped, like super cropped, which I really like. I don't really have a lot of like cutesy sweaters that are like super cropped so very much enjoyed that it looks like the tag was cut out so i don't know what brand it is but it feels nice quality like it doesn't feel like <laughs> a raw sweater i guess i'll show you the next thing i got from <laughs> whatnot which is this amazing pair of these pink pants i'll have to put them on to do them justice but i paid a little more than i usually would for these but it was also to support um one of my favorite youtube thrifting content creators um twinelle like i love her content so so much i watch every single video that she posts so she was selling these and i was super excited to get them they look like they fit her really good and i thought like maybe there's a chance that we're the same size i went ahead and bought them and thankfully these things fit me so perfectly like i couldn't have asked for a better fit and i like totally didn't even measure myself or anything so i got really lucky with these they were also brand new with tag which is really nice then at a random time that I went to Goodwill, I picked up this really cute skirt. It's like sheer with like a little underskirt under it and kind of the underskirt ends, but the sheer part keeps going. But the very bottom of it is like kind of sheer. I am so sorry if you hear my boyfriend, he is playing Halo right now. <laughs> but the brand is Vamp, which I thought was really cool. I don't know anything about that brand, but the tag looks cool. So really cute. I just need to take it in maybe an inch or two, but other than that, it's really adorable. And once again, at another random Goodwill that I went to with my grandma, I picked up this adorable red skirt. It's giving tropical, it's giving summer. So I really, really like it. The brand is Sag Harbor. Um, I don't really know that much about like thrifting brands or anything like that, but I'm just trying to get more acquainted with them. You know, I learn a little bit here and there from the thrifting videos that I watch, but yeah, I'm just showing the brands just in case like you guys know anything about them and you can let me know in the comments. The only thing about this one is that it's missing the third button. So I just need to take a button off the very bottom and just like transfer it on there. I don't remember how much I paid for either of those skirts, unfortunately either. <laughs> Let's move on to the stuff that I got today, the $1 items. I am so freaking excited. Let's get into it. The first thing I got was this little belt and this is actually so cute paired with jeans. Um, when I tried it on with my jean skirt that I'm wearing, I was like, this is actually really nice. Like it kind of blends in with the jeans a little bit, but it gives it just a little bit of extra oomph. And I actually almost stole it from the store. I put it on as the very last thing in the fitting room and I forgot to take it off. And I was literally at the register and then I like put my hand on my hip or something and I felt the belt and I was like, this is still on my waist. So I literally took it off at the checkout and I was like, wait, <laughs> this too, I forgot to take it off. And they were like, okay. <laughs> the next thing I got was just a simple blue sweater. I like to have these little sweaters for like my froggy crossing outfits. And this is the brand Worthington. And it is an extra large, but it fits me fine. Like maybe a little bit big in the arms, but I feel like it fits me totally fine. And it does have a little bit of stains on the tag, but I didn't see any other stains 
um, on the rest of it. The next thing is a dress and this is from Cotton On, which I think is a store in the mall, right? I can't remember, but this is like a black floral um, dress and this is a true wrap dress, which I am obsessed with true wrap clothing. And by true wrap, I don't know if that's the correct term, but I just mean like clothes that are actually like a wrap dress, like you can tighten the strings and like adjust it. There's so many clothes that I like take off the rack and I'm like, oh, it's a wrap dress, but it's like sewn in place. So you can't actually adjust it to your like body. I like that this is actually adjustable. The sleeves are really cute. The bottom is really cute. And since it's adjustable, since it's a wrap dress, I can just make myself look snatched and it just looks so good on me and it just can fit perfectly. Love that. Again, it was a dollar. Can't ask for better than that. So I guess let's just go through the dresses. Um, This dress, insane. So this is another black <laughs> floral dress. This is so freaking cute. It's a little spaghetti strap dress and I don't know what length this is, but it's, it's short or it ish. Um, this is the brand Hunter's Run. The tag looks kind of old and it does say professionally dry clean only, which I don't know what I'm gonna do about that because I throw everything in the washer, so we'll see. But the fit of this dress is so good. I swear this dress was made for me. It is absolutely fantastic. I'm so glad I got this for a freaking dollar and it feels such a nice quality as well. And then speaking of dresses that fit me really well, I think this is the last dress, but I got this cute little like brown and green printed dress again it's giving summer it's giving cruise but this brand i've never heard of as well it's m l l p i don't know but that's what it is it's an extra small yeah this fits me really nicely this is a little more like if i'm gonna be like dressed up somewhere so like this would be perfect for like a cruise dinner or something like that but i'm sure i'll find a way to wear it especially in the summer like i could even throw it over my bathing suit or something and then lastly just two more things i got these like patterned kind of like flare legging type of things these are from hollister and brand new with the tags besties and these things were $40. These pants were $40. You can't really see it. I would absolutely never pay $40 for these pants, but I will pay a dollar. So that was a steal, but these are just going to be to like lounge around in the house. I probably won't wear these like out or anything. And last thing is this skirt. It's kind of like a mini, yeah, like mini floral. Like they're just tiny little flowers. It's got buttons all down the front. Nothing really else to say about it. It has a lot of fabric, so it's kind of like flowy. It's really cute. I need to take this in a little bit as well. If I could take it in just like an inch or two, it would be perfect because I prefer my skirts to be a little bit like higher waisted. Yeah, that is what I got. I feel like this was so good. The dresses, so good. Everything was a dollar, so good. Honestly, this is my, my best thrift haul that I've ever shown in a freaking video. Um, I'm so excited about it, so I hope you enjoyed it. This is all just like so good. Now I wanted to jump into just a little bit of plushy stuff really quick, and then I really do have to get to cleaning. So as you saw at Walmart earlier today, I picked up this Bum Bums. Very cute. Love them. Been obsessed with them. Still trying to find the smaller versions, but did get the big version of the Gumball Machine. Reminds me of Benson from Regular Show, who is like my favorite character, and that's one of if not the animation show that I like the most. I don't think that made sense. Regular show is like one of my favorite shows. So yeah, that <laughs> reminded me of Benson. Um, also at Goodwill, I got this on a random thrift trip. I found this Hello Kitty mermaid keychain. So I picked that up for four bucks. No idea where she was actually from. Oh, she was from Loot Crate. That's kind of funny. She was from a Loot Crate box from 2018. All right, thought I would open this bad boy up because I have no idea what the mystery Squishmallow or Squishville is in here. But this box is so cute. Like, I know that I saw one in Target for $20 and I was like, I'm not paying $20 for these, but this one I will pay $20 for. This one is so good. Okay, I have freed them all and they are so 
freaking cute. Starting off with my favorite of the bunch, of course. I think this is Robert. I don't know if it's Robert or Ludwig. I think it's Robert, but just a little baby frog. Um, we have, I believe this is Sakina. Oh, I believe this is Sakina, the mushroom. Um, she's got like the little flower on her belly. I'm not sure about this snail's name, but we have a little baby snail. I don't think I have a Squishville snail, so very excited. I don't know who this gnome is. I don't really care about the gnome, so this can go to my cat. We have little rutabaga, but I'm actually really sad. Um, one of her antennas got untied, so I'll try to tie that again, but she is so cute. I'm gonna put her with her family. And the bonus secret one is like this little butterfly. I think it's a butterfly. I'm not the biggest fan of orange and black combo, but she's still cute. Yeah, those are the Squishville. And I also have, this is the last thing I promise, my Build-A-Bear order. They basically came out with a bunch of frogs and I already missed two frogs that I actually did want, but they sold out and I haven't seen them again. So I was like, you know what? They came out with more frogs. I want them. I'm not going to miss them. So I placed a big order, but thankfully I had, um, I had like a cashback offer through my credit card and I also had like rewards from Build-A-Bear itself, like my account. So I got like $15 off plus like cashback on my credit card. So it was okay. It was okay. The first one was the little mini baby pink frog. So cute. So precious. Um, another small one that I got was this one. It's so cute. Especially because the two big ones that I did get <laughs> are Miss Purple Gal and Miss Teal Gal. So they're kind of like the parents you know so i feel like i don't need the big teal one but these were so freaking precious i could not say no to these like look at these they are so freaking cute so new additions to the frog build-a-bear family i had to grab them so yeah that's kind of it for the stuff i wanted to show you like plushy wise now i really have to get cracking on cleaning i have like probably an hour before i gotta start making dinner so we're gonna get to it and then tonight i actually have to wash my hair because it's it's pretty bad at this point so yeah i need to finish that cleaning so i have enough time to do my whole thing you know So did I go back to the thrift store the next day because they had a continuation of that dollar sale? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And today I was committed to go through every single piece of clothing in this entire thrift store, which I did. I honestly didn't film too much. It's so hard to film when I'm just trying to like look at the clothes, look at the pieces. But I was filming these skirts because I was going through the skirts. I almost picked out that black and white one, but I did not. I liked the colors on this one. Not a big fan of like the almost leopard cheetah-esque print. Could not decide if this one was cute or ugly, but I ended up leaving it anyways. So we'll never know, I guess. And for some reason I was drawn to this. I know it's ugly, but like, it's also kind of cute. I don't know. So I ended up picking up this plain black long sleeve. It's like really thick material and I liked the neckline on it. I also picked up this like little velvet kind of red little tank top. I have a very similar one in black that I wear all the time. So I was excited to get one in a different color. I found this plain white t-shirt from Target that I wanted to get, but it was way too see-through, but I did leave it on for the rest of the try on just cause it was a neutral piece. I loved this skirt, but it was a little bit too low for me. I would have to take it in if I wanted to get it. And I already have one that's really similar. So like I left it cause like I already have enough skirts I need to sew. <laughs> I also picked up these pair of jeans cause I have like no jeans that 
fit me right now. <laughs> I ended up leaving this dress, even though like I'm looking at this footage and I'm like, wow, this looks so good on me. It has these weird like cutout arms with these little like ties that you can pull to like make it tighter, I guess. And it has them on both arms. The other arm was already like tied together. Like it was kind of tangled. I couldn't really get it. And the front has like the little tie as well. It looks so good on me because it actually ties in the back. So it kind of looks frumpy in the back. So I didn't pick it up because of that but I gotta admit it did look really good on me. <laughs> I saw this cute little lily pad plate as well and this adorable little like fruit and veggie plate and they also had a squishmallow but it was eight dollars so I was like no thanks. So I'm back home now got all ready for stream and I'm about to stream and that'll pretty much be my day and just do some editing after but I think that's gonna be it for the vlog today. I think it's already getting pretty long so I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the thrift finds and all of that good stuff. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and if you have any suggestions for future vlogs feel free to let me know down in the comments or just tell me whatever you want down in the comments below thank you so much again for watching and i will see you in the next one